are renewed calls for gun control legislation in the wake of the Las Vegas shooting. But as Seth Lemon reports from Capitol Hill, those calls aren't likely to be answered anytime soon. How many more must die? Democratic lawmakers stood on the steps of Capitol Hill and called on their Republican colleagues to pass new gun control measures to prevent another shooting like the Las Vegas massacre. This man, he was a thief. He stole these lives, this joy, these futures. And what do our members here say? Nothing. A moment of silence. But we're prayerful. We're respectful. But it is no substitute for action. Former Congresswoman Gabby Giffords, a victim of gun violence, said it would take courage to pass new laws. I've seen great courage when my life was on the line. Now is the time to come together, be responsible. Republicans say that with the investigation into the Las Vegas shooting still underway, now is not the time to debate gun control measures. It's particularly inappropriate to politicize an event like this. It's entirely premature to be discussing about legislative solutions, if any. But Senator John Thune, a member of the GOP leadership team, offered Democrats a glimmer of hope. Bump stocks, uh, uh, legally converted weapons that turn them into, you know, to turn semi-automatic weapons into virtually uh, automatic weapons, you know, that's uh, something I think that we'll take a look at. Law enforcement officials are still working to confirm if gunman Stephen Paddock used bump stocks on his weapons during his shooting rampage in Las Vegas. Seth Lemon for CBS News. Capitol Hill.